Hello and welcome back. In this session, we are going to talk about your uh, key pairs. So we look at an introduction to your key pairs and then we'll also look at uh, hands-on um, um, as to how you can work with your key pairs. Now in the last session, we looked at your security group. So we looked at an introduction to your security groups. We looked at how you can work with your security groups and then uh, we also discussed about uh, some of the characteristics of your security groups. Now, in this session, we will talk about your uh, key pairs. Once again, before we start off with the session, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So, what are key pairs? Now, key pairs are simply your login information. Now, we can make use of your key pairs to authenticate to the EC2 instances. So, whenever we want to log in to the EC2 instances, we make use of your key pairs to authenticate to the EC2 instance and then interact with the EC2 instances. So, this key pair, it acts as a set of security credentials which we can use to prove our identity when connecting to our uh, EC2 instance. So it's a way to uh, prove our identity whenever we are connecting to that EC2 instance. And this key pairs, it consists of two things. It consists of your public key as well as your private key. So this public key and private key together makes up for your key pair. And we always use these two things to connect to the EC2 instances. Now, whenever we create these key pairs, uh, the public key will be stored by uh, EC2 and the private key will be stored with us. So the two, th the, the two parts that we have, the public key and private key, uh, AWS will store only the public key and the private key will be uh, stored with the users, which is us. All right. So AWS will not maintain a copy of the private key, only we will be keeping the private key with us. Now, for Linux instances, the private key allows us to securely SSH into your EC2 instances. So using this private key, we can connect your EC2 instances. So without these key pairs, we cannot log in, we cannot connect to your EC2 instances. Now, like I said, this private key, it's private, right? As the name suggests, it is private. So you have to make sure that you don't share these uh, keys with anyone. All right. Uh, uh, you should not be um, uh, storing this uh, keys in a location where anyone can access it. You have to make sure that it is private and it is accessible only by uh, trusted people. So anyone who possesses this private key can connect to your EC2 instance. So that's why we have to make sure that we don't uh, uh, we don't share this private key with anyone. We only share this with the, with people whom you trust. Uh, who are supposed to access this server. All right, so it is important that you store this private key in a secure location. Now, whenever we launch the EC2 instance, we specify the key pair. So key pairs are mandatory. Without a key pair, we cannot launch the instances. And without the key pair, we cannot connect to the EC2 instances. So whenever we launch our EC2 instances, we have to make sure that we specify the key pair that we want to use to connect to the instances. And if you plan to connect to the instance using SSH, you must specify a key pair all right so here whenever we are launching our instances whether it is linux instance or a windows instance we have to specify your key pair so key pairs are mandatory without a key pair we cannot launch your ec2 instances well you can uh, but we won't talk about that so it's mandatory you'll have to you have to specify the key pairs now when we talk about these key pairs you can either choose your existing key pairs to log into the instances and you can always create a new one to connect to the instance. So basically key pairs are reusable. Once you create a key pair, you can make use of the same key pair to launch multiple EC2 instances. Now here, if you see in my case, I already have some key pairs. Now I can use any of these. So these are my existing key pairs. All right. So I can use any of these key pairs to launch my EC2 instance. And then I can use that respective private key to connect to that EC2 instance or I can choose to create a new one uh, and then launch the EC2 instance. So we'll talk about uh, creating the key pairs in, in some time, but you can choose either the existing ones or you can create a new key pair to launch the EC2 instance. Now, depending on how you manage your security, you can specify the same key pair for all of your instances. So you, your key pairs, it follows your one to many mapping. So we can use one key pair with multiple EC2 instances. Also, we can use um, one key pair for one instance. So you can either have the one to many mapping 
or one to one mapping that's up to you now the general practice that we have is we we try to follow the one to many mapping where we try to use um, one uh, key pair for um, common set of servers like let's say uh, xyz application or the sql boxes so we try to use the same key pairs but again it's really up to you based on how you are managing your security you can choose uh, how you want to utilize these key pairs to log into the ec2 instances now whenever we launch our ec2 instances the public key that you specify at launch so here whatever the key pair that we are um, uh, specifying aws will store the public key in the ec2 instance all right so aws will take care of that now this public key will be stored in this location uh, your home directory slash dot ssh slash authorized underscore underscore key so this is the location where your public key will be stored in your linux instances whenever we launch our ec2 instance now when we connect to that instance using ssh we will need to specify the private key that corresponds to the public key that we have selected so whatever the key pair that we are selecting over here we have to make sure that we specify the private key of that instance the, that key pair to connect to that ec2 instance now because amazon ec2 does not keep a copy of your private key there's no way to recover a private key if you lose it so like i said in the beginning aws keeps a copy of your public key only it does not keep a copy of your private key all right so if you lose your private key then there's no way to recover that private key uh, it's gone all right you won't be able to get it back however there are some workarounds that um, uh, you can do to regain the access to this server all right so there's still a way to connect to these instances for which you have lost the private key so we can make use of the user data so using a boot up script we can regain the access to the server we can make use of your systems manager uh, we can make use of your ec2 serial console we can also make use of your ec2 instance connect so these are the four options or the four workarounds that we have which we can use to uh, regain the access to the ec2 instances in case you have lost the private key right now you can use the amazon ec2 to create your key pairs or you also have the option of using third party tools like you can use putty to create the key pairs and then you can import that public key to the ec2 instance that's up to you uh, generally we use the ec2 to create the key pairs but we have other options as well now ec2 supports two types of algorithms so you can use ed25519 algorithm or you can use the rsa uh, 2048 bit algorithm to create your key pairs right and we can create up to 5000 key pairs per region so the limit you have is 5000 key pairs in each of the regions so that's a lot of key pairs that you can create so that's basically your introduction to your key pairs so once again key pairs are your login information so whenever you want to log in to your ec2 instances um, uh, we make use of your key pairs to uh, uh, log into that instances now how do you work with this key pair so uh, there are two ways you can work with this either when you're launching the instances here you can see this create new key pair option you can go to that you can give a name to this you can choose the type you want and then the format so you want to use the ssh command then you can go with the dot pem file and if you're using tool like putty then you can directly download the ppk file and then click on create key pair now this will create the key pair and select it so let's say for example uh, let me call this as this and we'll go with create key pair and this will go ahead and create a key pair for us and the private key will be downloaded on your local machine so here this is the pem file so here you can see dot pem so that's basically uh, the the private key so you can see begin rsa private key and then end rsa private key so that's basically your private key that we have downloaded and here you have specified the key pair so when we launch this instance aws will upload the public key of this to the ec2 instance and then we use this private key to log into that instance and access the server so this is one way so the other way you have is all of the key pairs that you create will be available under this network and security so here you can see the key pairs and here you should be able to see the list of all the key pairs that you have for that particular region so this is the key pair that we created just now 
Now from here also you can create your key pair, give the name, your type and then the format and then click on create key pair and this will also download the PEM file for you on your local machine. Right, so this is this again. Now let's say you're not using the EC2 to um, uh, create your key pairs, so you can make use of any of your third party tools like Putty to uh, generate your create your key pairs and then you can import the public key over here so you can see import key pair and give a name to this and you just have to uh, you know uh, browse it from your local machine on your local machine where the key the public key is available just upload that and you can import it all right so this is this option is also available for you now once you have these key pairs uh, then when you're launching your EC2 instances, you should be able to use this existing key pairs that we have created and then launch our EC2 instances. So whatever the key pairs that you have in this particular region, all the key pairs will be visible over here and you can choose which key pair you want uh, to use to uh, uh, launch your EC2 instances. And then once the instance is launched, you can make use of the private key and then connect to the EC2 instances. Now, once you're done launching the EC2 instances here under the details, uh, you should be able to see the key pair that is associated with your instance. So in my case, for this particular instance, I have this demo underscore key. So, you know, at any point, if you're not sure which key pair is associated with the instance, you can have a look at over here and this will tell you the key pair that is attached to your instance. All right, so that's basically how you can work with your key pairs. So that's basically your introduction to your key pairs and uh, uh, hands-on um, uh, how you can work with your key pairs. Uh, that's all I have for this session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.